Oh, hello there. Yeah, just a quick one this morning. Um, it was noticeable yesterday on social media that once a bit of the dust had settled uh, in the afternoon, uh, the right-wing commentators agreed uh, the common line they would take on Boris Johnson going was, no, he mustn't go because we mustn't have any more COVID restrictions. And the reason why he broke these rules was obviously because the COVID restriction rules are stupid and he knows they're stupid and therefore he shouldn't be expected to have obeyed them. Which is fine, obviously, so we'll move on from that. Um, various uh, dim uh, 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 Tory MPs like Jacob Rees-Mogg were wheeled on Michael Fabricant to uh, say something or other the cabinet backed him a bit but the key takeaway from this is um, it really doesn't matter yeah the message it doesn't matter should come through to you loud and clear all right you aren't going to choose the next conservative prime minister they will decide to get rid of Boris Johnson when they want to, and then they will use all the tools at their, persu at, at their disposal to persuade you it's a completely new government under that lovely Liz Truss, and what we really need now is tax cuts. You don't count in that equation other than putting an X on the right box to stop the Labour Party or anyone else getting in at the next election. That's what you're there for. Democracy is you being told what to do once every five years they require no other input from you whatsoever other than to make sure you go to work and buy things please do not think please it merely interferes with the process thank you for your cooperation